I try to innovate a lot in the technology of how I teach. My course notes are not a static PDF. They are a website that has interactive content. Not only robot videos, but also animations that you can slide back through, change parameters, see how the physics evolves. Interactive notebooks. You can click a link on the website and immediately you're dropped into some code, which you can run on the cloud server, interact with the simulation, change the code, see what happens. The lectures go on YouTube. The problem sets are up and open. All the examples are just anybody can find them on the web. I have websites that have documentation. We can scroll through the code. We have JavaScript HTML videos that I can play and stop and scrub. I'll inject like interactive plots. It's been great. It's really, I think it just opens things up. I've been amazed at the impact that has had. Lots of places where I go, people will have watched these videos, will ask me something about it, will say thank you for putting the content online. So I'm very proud of MIT for doing that. I'm grateful for the philosophy that that's a good thing to do. I get random questions on YouTube, on uh, Stack Overflow, or all these random different channels, people will ask questions. And I always try to answer. I can't answer every single one, but I, I really do try to answer. And I love it that people are following along. We spend hours together understanding the limits of what they're running into. They're pushing their understanding. So I get as much out of it as they get out, I think. They ask questions. I really get to know them. They really get to know me. I think they recognize the effort maybe that's being put in and the passion for it.